how are you guys? Welcome to my channel and today we're, co we're cooking a steak pan fried with butter and we're going to have a homemade french fries and don't forget our vegetable broccoli so I wash this and I slice so we're gonna be even uh, cook evenly and we're going to just add a little bit of uh, black pla uh, ground pepper for seasoning you don't want to put too much little bit of salt on the other side okay and we'll set aside because we're going to prepare the french fries first because french fries is take longer to cook than the steak because we don't want the steak to be like chewy and gummy so I peeled potato and I'm going to cut in a in a strip long strip and you can uh, bake this into your oven for 350 degrees and you can turn every time but today I'm going to use a special machine for fries so first we're going to finish to cut this but we only need a little of oil So, look, some fries cut in a long strip. So, we're going to put into this machine. I'm going to show you. It's like that. So, just uh, dump all the potato, cut potato. canola oil or vegetable oil or whatever oil what you're going to use so just a little bit just like one one tablespoon okay so we're going to plug this in i'm gonna turn it on so for fries Fresh fries is uh, it cook until like twenty five minutes. But if you want, you want more crunchy, then you can uh, set into thirty minutes. Okay, so that's thirty minutes set for our fries and. We're going to pan fry our um, steak when the when the fries is already done for 20, 20 minutes. So I have here onion uh, slice and a spring onion for garnishing. So we're going to boil this. 
but how are you going to boil the vegetables in order not going to turn yellow and the vitamin is still there so we're going to boil the water first when it's boiled already then we can just put that one in there for like three minutes and it is really cooked and still tender and crispy it's not going to be turned soft when you're going to boil the water first okay and you don't need lots of water just enough water because when you when this one is boiling and then you're going to put your broccoli and you're going to cover it and the steam will go and circulate inside and and that's you don't need to put too much water so I just add a little bit of salt for the taste I'm gonna boil it so our fry is almost ready so we're going to fry our steak with butter so just like one tablespoon of butter and our water for our broccoli is also boiling so we can uh, put the broccoli anytime You need to do to to check the timing so not uh, the rest of the food is already cold and the other is not ready yet. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry the onion first because I want the taste of the onion for into the steak so I'm going to fry first So the onion is cooked and I'm going to put into a, a plate. I don't want to, to burn the onion. I just want it to be like that. So it's nice looking for the side dish into our steak. Now we can put the steak. I don't want the steak to be cooked too long because we're going to be so chewy that's like a chewing gum. Oh, 
but we make it sure that it also cook. I want to stay for well done and he also like well done. You can put the lid so we don't want to splatter the oil everywhere, but we don't close tight. And while we frying the we're going to put our broccoli into a boiling water. I'm going to cover it. And we can check our price too. As you can see, it's all golden brown. Our steak is looking good. Alright, our steak is ready. Just put this brown in there. We need to turn it off the fire and we're going to set our meal. And our platter is ready. Look at the price. It's all golden brown and crispy and less oil. Because we don't deep fry. And we'll just use that active fry machine. Okay, so let's go and enjoy our dinner.
Our surprise. Good. It's just steak. <clears throat> Perfect. I think at this point I'm going to throw it up on them. They should get that stuff out of there. Okay.